Next activity for Revolve is the one in the bottom left hand corner, the Secure Challenge. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a Revolve, a number revolves within the same body or same part, okay? And we're going to learn about how to control the, the angle, okay, within the drawing. So let's get stuck into this one and let's go into Fusion 360. As you can see on here, this is the completed body or part that I want to create. So what I've done is I've used the hexagon and revolved this at various different angles. And then I've used another tool, which is called an offset to create a smaller version of each one as we go along here. So if we go up to plus to create a new design, I'm going to turn on my origins and I'm going to click a sketch and go on this plane here. This time we're going to go up to a polygon and I'm going to use the first polygon option. I'm going to click and drag this polygon out. And I'm actually going to dimension it from the top to the bottom. And that needs to be 30. And I'm going to go from the center of the polygon to the center of my origins. And I want to check that to be, make sure it's 60. Okay. So every time I need to use a dimension tool, as you know by now, the dimension tools at the top, I press D for dimension. And that's my dimensions I require for this sketch. I'm going to go up to the green tick. You will notice on this one, the design is not touching the center like the other designs that we've done. And also I haven't drawn in a vertical line where I want to revolve around. I can just use the axis for this technique. So we're gonna go up to revolve. We're going to select it, which is already done here. If it's not selected, then click on the hexagon. The axis is gonna be the green one. And what we've got here is it wants to do this 360. It wants to be full. We do not want it to be full. We want to change the angle. And what we're going to go for is 90. And again, you've got different options here now because what you could do is one sided. So that's going one sided in front of the sketch. If I type in minus 90, it will go behind the sketch like so. And we can go 90. Like that okay so it all depends on what you want so i'm going to go on this occasion i'm going to go minus 90 like that again you've got other ones here so you've got two-sided what that will allow you to do i've got 90 degrees around the back if i want to do 45 degrees okay i can then change that and remove it that way or i could go this way and go minus again and type in another dimension so as you can see as i drag this around these dimensions change. So this is allowing me now, okay, to go two-sided. So again, this is another skill we're learning. And then the last option there is you've got symmetric or symmetry, and that's allowing you to go 90 degrees and that's going either side. So that's 180 degrees in total. Okay, I'll have a type in there, 45 or minus 45 is going 45 either side like that, all right? What we're going to do for this first one is we're just going to do it single or one sided, and we want it to go minus 90 and click OK. Again, like we've done before, I can right click on the sketch and edit it if I need to update any of this, and then click the green tick and right click again on the feature if I've messed this up, I am doing it at the right angle or something, I've done something wrong, I can edit it in there. So we don't need to start again if something's slightly wrong. So what we're going to do now is go sketch, and I'm going to sketch on this surface here. I'm going to use the offset. Now the offset is up here, or I could press O for offset. I'm going to select this edge, and I'm going to drag it in, and I'm going to type in minus 5. I'm going to click OK over here, or Enter is fine, like so. I'm going to go to the home button and this time we're going to go up to solid and create revolve and i'm going to select this and i'm going to revolve again by that center one as you can see what it's trying to do now is remembered my last dimension and it's got minus 90 and it's got it into there and remove that so if we just have a look what that looks like 
Okay, because I've got cut and it's going minus 90. That will create basically like a channel going through there, which looks quite cool, but that is not what we want. So I'm going to right click and edit this again. And I just need to turn that into a positive. And we don't need cut. So you might think, why is it not appearing? Because it's got cut on. I need to go join. Okay, so I'm going to join it together. I could click on new body. And what that will do is we'll create separate bodies of each feature, but I just wanted to join it. And I've gone 90 degrees. So I just got to check, make sure I'm doing this right. So I've gone here, you see, and then we look above. All right, we've gone 90 degrees backwards. We've got 90 degrees here this time. So that's correct. So I've got 90, 90, 90. And then we're going to use the technique again. So this is a good way of showing how you can add basically a number of different revolves within the same design. So we're going to go up to sketch again, click on this surface, zoom in, use O for offset, minus five, enter, okay. Go up to the home button. And I might do this time just spin it around using mid, middle mouse wheel and shift or the orbit tool at the bottom. Go to revolve again, select it, and I'm going to go axis. So this is my axis again. Again, it's recognized for last time minus 90. All right, I don't want it to do that. I mean, I could if I wanted to, I could go minus 180, and that's going right through there. All right. Or I could type in 180 plus and join. And you can see if I click OK. It's then when it catches up, created something a bit like that. But we don't want that. OK, so let's go in and type in 90 degrees. We're going to click join again. And click OK. So you can see here, I'm creating an offset each time going round and round and round. So what I might do on this one is I click this button here. This time, again, I'm going to go offset. So all this is about good practice of sketching, selecting faces, and create and revolve. I go up this time to here. I'm going to click on solid, revolve, select one I want to revolve, select my axis, and it's got 180 again. So we just need to change this. So I'm going to go 90. All right, and that connects it. Figure, oh, yeah, it's really good, really good, but not quite what I want. So this time, I know that that needs to be okay, 45. So this is where, again, we can control our angle up here. If I wanted to, this is where the two comes in. If I didn't know that angle, but I want it to go up to there, so I'm not sure what that angle is. I, I know it's 90 degrees, and you probably know that, but if I wanted to, I could click that, and it, the two will go up to that particular point. Or if I had another feature near a different part of the design, I could click up to it, and it'll go up to that. So I don't have to work out the angle if I just know I want it to go up to something. So that's the other one. So we've got an angle up to, and we've learned about full. So I'm just going to go back to angle, type in my, 45 degrees and join. And because we've joined all this together, we've got one body as I wanted to. Okay. If any of these, if I right click and I clicked, it's not the first one, sorry, if I right click, say there's any of the other ones, not the first one, I could click on new body. And what that would do is you can see I've now got two bodies there. Okay. So that's what that option is within there. So it's about, do you want it to essentially merge into one of the other bodies that you've created, which we do, or do you want it to be a separate one? Okay, and we'll learn about bodies and components in another tutorial. The next and the final activity or challenge is the master. So if you have a look on the screen, you can see what we're going to do here is again create a revolve, but this time, we're going to create four revolves from one single sketch, which is slightly different to the secure activity, where we created four revolves from four sketches within the same design. 
Okay, so repeat that again. We're going to create four revolves from one single sketch, which is a good technique to learn. So if we jump into Fusion 360, this is what we're going to create here. So as you can see here, we've got a number of different revolves at various different angles, offsets, cutting, okay, and adding materials. And it's all from this one sketch, which is here. So three circles to create this design. So we're going to go to new. I'm going to click on sketch and I'm going to select this plane here. I'm going to press C for circle. I'm going to draw out circle 30 millimeters and click enter. I'm going to zoom in. And from the center where it comes up with an X, I'm going to drag and type in 15 and enter. And again at the bottom. Okay, if it doesn't come up, you could always drag from the center and it comes up with a line like that. Type in 15. And we just need to dimension from the center of the circle to center of the origin 75. And that gives us our overall uh, diameter of the object and click tick. So that's our sketch. I click on home. I'm going to turn on the origins just to like make life a little bit easier and, and zoom in and out to get this in a nice position. We're going to go up to revolve and what we're going to do for the first one, if we just drag this back in time, you can see what's happening, is we're going to create this donut shape here. So I'm going to go up to revolve. I'm going to select these part of the shapes. So that's the three selected. My axis is always going to be the green one. And what we want to do is use the technique of full. So full 360 degree revolve like that. So next one we're going to do to bring this forward is we're going to do, if I show you, basically from that part of the sketch there, we're going to go backwards around the 180 degrees. So minus 180 degrees in one single direction. So I turn on the sketch just under there, click on revolve again, select this part of the sketch, and we're going to go revolve. So we don't want it to be full. We're on an angle and we want it minus 180. OK, so it's just guess what I wanted there. So I could type in minus 180. It's gone from that point all the way around. OK, minus 180. And I've got join. I haven't got cut. OK, because it's not going to cut anything on that one. That's what it's coming up with one for. I haven't got anything else. OK, apart from join. I want to join it together. So it's one big body at the end. Click OK. We go next one done that part this time i'm going to come in and this is all using the same sketch this is using the same sketch and we're learning about this technique so this one is an interesting one what we're going to do here is use the underside of that circle to create a cut and what we're going to do is is 160 degrees from this point here and it's 20 degrees off so we're doing a two sided. So we're learning how to start the revolve from a certain point. So we don't have to always start it from the sketch. We can start it anywhere within this diameter, basically. OK, so it's 160 by minus 20. So we're going to come in again, revolve, set this one here, same axis. We're going to go angle, we're going to go two sided. I'm going to go 160, like that. I'm going to cut. So it's got two sided. And you might think, well, what's this doing? OK, I've got this here at 160. But where's my other one? OK, where is my other option? So it's not full. It's not two. All right. So what we're going to do, start off here, 160, start off here, 20. You might think, well, it's not done anything. OK, so what am I, what's my options? OK, so it's a bit important that you then select these options here. So you can see I can start this at any point I want. It's coming up with a warning because I was dragging it past and sort of intersecting. So I can start off anywhere here. So we want it to go up to 160 degrees up here okay and we're going to start it off 
from 20 degrees from that there. Click OK. And we just need to go back in, OK, because I just deselected it. So two sided, 20 minus 20 degrees. So you've got to be careful that you don't just click off things like I just did. There we go, click OK. All right. So we've created now from the same sketch this main body donut. So 360, we've created the half of this sketch here going all the way around and doing 80 degrees. Okay, so in a single direction. And now we've gone in two directions and started from the sketch or off the sketch, which is a good one to learn. Now the last one we're gonna have a go at is okay, if we go up to here again. This is back on. So this one is underneath here. And this one is testing our knowledge of using the symmetry. So basically what it's going to do, it's going to do 180 degrees in total, but it's going from the sketch 90 degrees that way and 90 degrees that way. And of course I could change this to be 45, 45, okay, or whatever dimension I want, and I'm going to cut. So this is doing a symmetrical cut from the sketch to either side. And this is the bottom part. So if we go up to here, revolve, select this part of the shape, go to axis. We want to go to angle and we want to go symmetry and we want it to be cut. And we don't want to go 160. Okay, we're gonna go minus 90. Okay, now it's gonna be warning figure, oh, what have I done wrong? You've, you know, if you see, I've selected the wrong part of the sketch. I was being a bit lazy, I didn't zoom in. So if I go up to here, that's the one I want. So always be careful. If it does come up with a warning, it's just telling you that you may have selected the wrong thing or you've added an angle, that's not going to work. So as you can see there, what I've done now from that sketch is a minus 90 that way and that way because I'm using the symmetric. If I did one-sided, I did one-sided like that. Okay, and we're gonna go symmetrical. So I want it 90 either side and click OK. And then what I've got there, like we set out to do for this highly few things, is one body, and it's basically been created from one single sketch from four different revolves. That's how you can then control, okay, the shape that you're creating. So a good skill to learn. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.